Hello and welcome to When the Shed Light is On. Going back to the time of the famine, yeah. this, this is what they did. With the, they took the eyes off the potato, this little filly here, and they would have planted them into little boxes or whatever they had at the time. Yeah. So what we this plant will grow there, then you transplant them when they're about that height mm -hmm. out into the ground. But they took off the eyes and then they had this left. Yeah. And this is what they fed the horses. When in, in about a month's time now, they'd be up about that height. Yeah. And, and Do you then, keep these outside? Um, no, the, at the moment they go into the tunnel because, yeah. because of frost. That's, that's what they'd be... They'd be, be so when you see a potato with the eye on it, um, you can just cut the eye off and, the and eye plant off it. With a little bit of flesh. And this time of year, around... This is the time of year for it now. February um, going into March. Yeah. See, what will happen is, a lot of people think that this is what produces the potato, but it's not. It's the hair roots that come out of this. Yeah. And they all have a little shoe at the end of them. It's yeah. really, it's I, a lovely thing to look, to look at, you know, the little, the little plants when they're, when they're quite young. I have the, I have the, um, the ground ready. For yeah. Set the potato. Yeah. This is the potato. It's called Colleen is the name of them. And again, you don't want them to, to be too big, these, these little, little sprouts, because otherwise when you're putting back in, when you're covering them, you can yeah. break them, break them off it. But um, that's also in the makeup. This is uh, organic uh, fertilizer. It's chicken manure, chicken pellet manure, and this is organic seaweed dust. So right. that that'll be mixed with the with the compost that's inside in the, the wheelbarrow, and that'll yeah. be going down on top. Of, this will be going on top of the grass, yeah. which I'll, I'll do a demo of it now for you. Yeah. <clears throat> so these are going in roughly about 13 inches apart. Yeah. With the eye sticking up. Sticking up. And um, this whole area is roughly two feet. It's one foot from this line to this line. Yeah. It's six inches from this line to this line, and the same here, six inches both ways. My next, my next line of potato is 28 inches. That'll be where the next line of potatoes will be going along there. And so you give a, a good, a good amount of space between them. Between them, between them, yeah. In farmyard manure, but we didn't get it in yet this year. Yeah. And, uh, and, and the reason why you do not farm your manure, because the farm uh, manure, when it's covered, it holds the dampness. Yeah. So during the summer months. It stays know, moist. It stays moist all through the summer, you know. Yeah. And this is just normal uh, clay you're laying on top, is, is it? This, this is our compost that we saved uh -huh. from all last year's weeds and everything else. I can show you the compost here because it yeah. breaks down quite, quite good. Yeah. So what you will be doing is that you'll be cutting that with a spear along each line, that's why the lines are there. Yeah. To make it so that you could be able to tell. Greetings everybody from Jerry O'Connor's shed. This is my own special place here that I converted years ago. As you can see, I have a little studio here and uh, some instruments. This is where I get my inspiration. This is where I come to try and hone the skills that I have or, or hold on to them and to learn some new ones and sit around, just ponder life and get some inspiration for some of my musical ideas. And to be honest with you, I'd be lost without it. So I'm gonna play a tune. My father told me this was the first tune he ever learnt on the fiddle almost a hundred years ago.
And of course, we're very special because we get to wear this shirt here, Tibridor Naboo. Hey folks, my name is Ken Whelan. I'm a musician from Dublin. My primary instrument is the piano accordion. And I think I'll play a little piece of French music for you now. Hope you enjoy that. Hi, Mary Cocklin here. I just want to say hello to everybody in Tipperary Men's Sheds and all their families and friends. And I'm sure that like uh, me, you're trying to get back to work and I know you have important stuff to do in the shed. So when you're back and running, I'll sing you a song. Bye. On behalf of the Irish Men's Sheds Association, um, I'd like to pay tribute to the great resilience and solidarity that sheds have shown during this very difficult period and to wish you all the very best for the period ahead um, and the men's shed association will continue to support you as best it can um, while sheds play such a vital role in getting our communities back on their feet um, in what's hopefully going to be a, a transformed society in the, in, the, in the next number of months. Hello, how are you keeping? Um, I'm delighted to say hello to you all there in the Tippled Men's Shed. If I've got that right, Tippled sounds like you're all half cut, so <laughs> which wouldn't be such a bad thing these days. But um, no, wishing you all good health and, and eat healthy and, and stay healthy as possible in these trying times. So yeah, my name is Ulton Condon. I'll give you a bit of a song for the crack. Wake up in the morning and go down the stairs Pick up my shoes from under the chair Ready for the day, I'm ready to pay my way All day long I work for the man The man in me There ain't no way I'm gonna lay in bed And let my hands get the better much stay healthy lads stay healthy how, how did you get involved in the shed um i knew uh, a lad that was that was in was there at the beginning when they started here in nina yeah in Morrissey. yeah yeah so kind of got, that's kind of how i got introduced to peter yeah and have they a little workshop in the shed there yes we, we kind of when we were in larry's we kind of had a regular crew yeah Coming in and out. Some of them were were were, were in their eighties, but of course now since the lockdown, yeah, we didn't see the lads, which is understandable. Yeah, yeah. So do do you still manage to kind of get together um, during even during this time? I kind of was still away from it for a while there as well because I would suffer periodically without bits of depression. Right. 
depressed. Without depression would be, you know, would be there or intense or whatever. You know, I find it hard to go anywhere. The mind out of the dementia, but but now that 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 that's kind of lifted a bit. I I do go down, even though I might be there on my own. Right? Are you serious? Just yourself there? Just myself, like yeah. My name is Gronya Hunt. Our mutual friend Peter O'Toole asked me to record a little video for all of you guys at the Tipperary Men's Shed. Um, I just want to reach out and uh, check in with y'all and see that you're doing well. I know it's a bit of a mad time at the minute, so uh, I thought I might sing you a little bit of a song. Uh, this is part of a song I wrote called This Secret. Stones in my pockets and salt on my skin. There's diamonds among us There's beauty within In light and in music In shells at my ear Oh, whisper this secret It's happiness here Hi everyone, John Spillane here with a special message for the Tipperary Men's Sheds. I'd like to let you know that I've written two songs about Tipperary so far. One is called Feathered. As I went down through Feathered Town in the county Tipperary, I met a mouse with a horse and he training him, of course, for the big gold cup. Giddy up, giddy up. Mouse Morris, do you get it? But anyway, um, there's a riddle in the song and I'd like to pose you the riddle now to see would any of you be intelligent enough to crack it. And the riddle is this. What made the hearse horse horse? If you want to have a go of guessing the riddle, you have to stop the video now and uh, figure it out, um, or else I'm going to tell you. So, um, this is the answer. As I went down through Feather Town in the county Tipperary, what made the hearse horse horse? The coffin. What made the hearse horse horse? The coffin, of course. And the other Tipperary song I wrote it was a new one called Molly Bon. It's coming out in my new album um, on 2nd of April 2021, and it's called Molly Bon O'Leary. And tell my friends that I am well and playing music in Clonmel. Oh, Molly Bon O'Leary from the county Tipperary, you mischievous star fairy, you have me surely robbed playing on the footpath with your lipstick on your gob. Molly Bon, Molly Bon. Thanks very much. John Spillane, over and out. Tipperary Men's Shed. What made a hearse horse horse? The coffin, of course. Thanks, lads. Sloan. Hi, folks. Hazel Chu here, Lord Mayor of Dublin City. I wanted to record a quick video for Men's Shed in Tipperary to just say what amazing work you're all doing. I know it's been a particularly challenging and difficult time for everyone. It's it's just been so horrible for everyone with so much death and loss and mourning. But we are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and we have raised a uh, rise up to the challenges. And I know yourselves down in Tipperary and with especially with Men's Shed that's starting up has uh, risen up to the challenge enormously and helped so many and will help so many with their mental health as well as physical health as well. I think it's all tied in. So um, again, a big well done and uh, keep up the great work. Thanks. This is called Spring the Potatoes by Patrick Kavanagh. The bowls of blue potato spray stood on a headland in July 
Beside an orchard wall, where roses were young girls hanging from the sky. The flocks of green potato stalks, while blossoms spread for sudden flight. The carpings in their frizzled blue, the anor banners wearing white. And over that potato field, a lazy veil of woven sun, dandelion growing on headlands, showing their un unloved hearts to everyone. And I was there with my knapsack sprayer on the battle's edge poised. A wasp was floating dead on a sunken briar leaf over a copper poisoned ocean. The axle roll of a rut locked cat broke the burn stick of noon in two. An old man came through a cornfield, remembering his youth and some root he knew. He turned my way. God further the walk, he said. He echoed an ancient farming prayer. I thanked him. He eyed the potato trims. He said, you are bound to have some good ones there. We talked, and our talk was a team of kings, a team for strings. He hunkered down in this shade of the orchard wall, all roses. The old man dies in the young girl's frown. And the poet, lost to the potato fields, remembering the lime and the copper smell of the spring bells, he is not lost, or his blossom stalks cannot weave a spell. Fantastic. Thank you. I was there. This is Tipperary Men's Shed. So you did you just, you just came in and just basically built this yourselves? Yeah, built, we, the, the, we wanted to open up walls and fire off some of the to fail off or whatever. Yeah. We decided in, we just covered the quality. Yeah. So like this now, a couple of years with the wind. We've got a lot of storms in the last four years, so it's pretty good. The men kind of started here. There was a, a kind of a, a informal meeting. The, the RT came down, and um, there was a there was a podcast uh, made here. Yeah. <coughs> and um, a video was shown of the men's sheds in Australia. Sure. And uh, the men's development network had a bit of a. They, they brought the, the video to it, you know. Yeah, yeah. And they done some training here as well. So Tipperary was the first place in Ireland to have a men's shed. It was, that's, yeah. That's what I believe, yeah. yeah. Was it Tipperary yeah. Town? This one here, yeah, Knock and Raleigh, yeah. This was yeah. the very first one? 
This is the very first one. We have zero, zero, one. That's our number in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the register or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can remember the day when RTE came down and the idea was floated and uh, that was a great idea about 2006 or seven or something like that I think. I'm not sure now. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly the day yeah. But uh, the, the, the idea was floated and the, the video was shown from Australia and we had a, we had a grand day there and they were saying it was a great idea and all that. Yeah. That's why we kind of made us number one because the kind of idea kind of stepped it here. The but seed was planted here. It was, it was, was, yeah. was, yeah. It was. Like, like the potatoes. Like the potatoes, yeah. yeah. The seed was planted here. So like this, was, this was the poorest place and it's, it's, it's yeah. a fantastic idea, isn't it? Fantastic, absolutely. Yeah. You're, you're, you're glad you came into the mill shed, Lee, are you? Uh, I am, what do you, yeah. What, what do you get out of it, like? What was your... How do you find it's, it? It's hard to say. Yeah. It's, it's hard to say. I know. You know, but uh, I enjoy it, I must say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah although I, I love being at home, but whether yeah. or not, uh, I enjoy it, yeah. I know, yeah. 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 It's having somewhere to come and have, you know, meet, meet the lads and have a bit of crack or just... Yeah, but you know. I haven't got much choice, have I? <laughs> <laughs> you want to see some of them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Mary Green and no this is No Shine and we're two thirds of the band Green Shine along with our daughter Ellie who can't be with us here today. We're going to do a song called Dandelion Seed for you. Uh, Ellie usually sings it. I'm going to try it. And uh, it's a song all about family and friends and staying in touch. And we'll send it out to the members of the Men's Shed in Tipperary. And we're wishing you good health and happiness. One, two, three, four. <laughs> have been par, par steamed you can boil them or par steam them they were like chips now I'm going to cut them up into little cubes and so you want to get this oil you know good and hot we're going to be doing the potatoes in them and we're going to be doing the um, the onions as well I have mushrooms ready onions ready and 
and all the potatoes are waiting here that we have cut into nice little cubes. The cubes are now in the pan. Again, just be careful with any splash, you know, as you know yourself in the, in the kitchen. Onions. So I'm going to start adding, adding in the onions. Beautiful. Now I'm going to start slowly adding in these mushrooms. These are done. Um, they're nice and crispy. Not too, not too good. Not too good like that. What I'm going to do is um, take them off the pan and let them sit for a second or two. I added two potatoes, two onions, and I'm going to add three eggs. These are um, beautiful eggs from the uh, hens from up the road. They, uh, the house supplies them, they just leave them outside in the box and you can come along and leave some money and take the eggs. And they're from all different types of uh, hens. So I'm just whisking it around, I don't add anything, I don't add milk or nothing. I have the eggs all beaten here. And what I'm going to do is, when they cool down, because if I put them in now, the eggs will start cooking immediately because of the heat. So I'm going to let them cool down. Keep fluffing up the eggs because the fluffier the eggs, the better. While we're waiting on these to cool down, I'm going to do a nice little salad. I've got some salad leaves here. We have some grated uh, carrots. So I'm just going to drop them in. This is a... Um, Jamie Oliver goes from a height. So Gordon Ramsay just throws it in and I just gently drop it in. Now we've got some beautiful, this is fresh um, beetroot. So I'm just going to drop it in that way. Again, it's whatever you want. This is for two. I've got some nice fresh tomatoes. Just again, drop them in. We've got some cut cucumber. And there you go. And then our famous little capers. These add a little vinegary flavor, but we like them, so I'm going to throw them all in. And then at the end of it, we've got some nice olive oil. Just sprinkle it around. And then with a nice clean spoon, just mix. And there you have your salad with one more important ingredient, a little black pepper. And that's it. We've put our potatoes into the eggs and you can see the eggs are already beginning to cook. So you need to just spin it around. I now have our mix. The pan has been sitting there just with a little olive oil in it, getting ready. So I'm going to pour this in to a nice flat. Of moving it, the edges, and just tucking it in each time. You know, you you want to get it's kind of looking like a bit of a cake. So that's that's exactly what we want. And you just keep it keeps just letting air underneath and making sure that it doesn't stick anywhere. This is like pancakes. You know, if you want to flip pancakes. You can see it's kind of moving there now in the pan, so it's, it's cooked underneath. With this plate, I'm just going to put it on top. Again, watch your hands. I'm going to flip it over. You can feel it going down. And there you have it there. And then with this, you just sort of gently put it back on. And you start moving it immediately so that it doesn't stick. That's just been sitting there on top of the, the heat. I'm going to put this on top. I'm going to flip it again. And there you have your tortilla de patata. And I'm just going to roll it over nicely on that plate. And yeah, that's, that's it. Two minutes job. Hi everybody in Tipperary Men's Sheds. This is Joe Chester here. Just sending you a little message to send you good vibes. And I hope you're keeping as well as can be expected. And I hope you're all keeping strong. And uh, I just thought I'd send you a little uh, piece of music. I think music really helps lift the spirits, you know. And uh, so I thought I'd send you a little piece that I've been working on. It's a, a version for a guitar of a, 
a beautiful old tune called Pert and the Buki, which I first heard on a, um, an amazing record uh, by Tony McMahon and Noel Hill when I was a kid. There's loads of versions out there, but uh, uh, yeah, as I said, I'm working on a version for a guitar and I thought I'd just send you a little taste to wish you well this morning. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we took the floor up and relayed it in here. Yeah. So, um, how, how long did that take? That must have taken a while. Well, it, it, we did it over about a year, you know. This, yeah. Uh, it was quite a bit of, of work. Kind of what drew you to the, the men's shed in the first place? Um, well, I was retired and uh, I had a few health problems. Um, yeah. I was able and you got to meet other people a bit, you know, yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> just to meet up with a bunch of lads and. Yeah, just, uh, and of course the workshop was a great, um, a great opening for, for us. The, the guy uh, who was secretary, which I never really was, yeah. had, to, had other things on and he couldn't do both. So there were no other volunteers, so I ended up secretary. <laughs> so what we had two days, we had two evenings and, uh, and a day. So it was a few hours a week, and the Thursday was just a, a social evening, you know. Yeah. And usually on the Wednesday day we did a, we did the work in in, in the shop. Yeah. The, 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 we did that lovely stuff like that. We did have a time. We had this guy, Martin Behan, who was in t tidy towns. Right? Uh huh. And. Um, <laughs> He was the most innovative fellow. <laughs> and then he passed on very quickly, at quite a young age as well. He was in his 60s, you know. Which is young, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, he's quite young. It is, he was yeah. so innovative, but cancer is rather unforgiving at times, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is a song I wrote called Dark Long Enough. This is for all you men in your sheds out there. Come, young hearted people. And the list how I'm feeling I'm sick from the news Yeah, I'm sick from the killing There's a stretch in the evening It's a magical stuff Step into the light It will be dark long enough Bourbon biscuit bogs Of bark and burnt brack Winter turf tokens, they're hard on the back. Mountain fleece blowing on heather like fluff. Make friends with the light, it will be dark long enough. Oh, dark long enough, it's a sentence to love. Dark long enough, it's a lonesome old song. Dark long enough, it's the only excuse. It's Savior and Nave Stand on a rock and call for a show Baptize yourself, it will be dark long enough At the back of the chip shop There's empty oil drums At the back of the hardware shop Pallets and some Constructing a raft with Tom Sawyer love. Huck me, pink, it will be dark long enough. Oh, dark long enough. It's a penance to love. Dark long enough. It's a lonesome old song. Dark long enough. It's the only excuse. Dark long enough. It's the only truce.
once and I asked her Then she said, are you asking? Then she called me a coachie And she took into laughing We're settled down now With the Billy Goats Gruff We eat cake every day And we'll be back on enough Now we're running from the pool And it's teeming down rain Togs over the towel We're tearing down the back lane Chipping in for ten Rockmans Well, it's looking real tough Gather round the last match It will be dark long enough Oh, dark long enough It's a sentence to a mom Dark long enough It's a lonesome long song Dark long enough It's the only excuse, yeah Dark long enough It's the only truce Dark long enough it's the season for juice Dark long enough It's the only truth My name is Matthew Ocasio and I play the Illum Pipes So the, the Illum Pipes are a uniquely Irish instrument uh, They're a form of bagpipes that are bellows blown uh, So you pump the air from the bellows strapped to your right arm into the bag here and then on into the rest of the set. So there's uh, seven pipes all together. The first one is the chanter that you play the melody on. There's three drones, which create a, a constant sort of bass sound. And then you've got three rows of regulators, which are keys that you press with your wrist to uh, make chords and provide accompaniment. So they go like this. So uh, I'll play a, a couple of jigs uh, that have a sort of Tipperary um, theme to them. So the, the Rakes of Clonmel is the first one and the second one is the, uh, it's called Old Tipperary. So I hope you enjoy them and I hope you're all keeping well.
Thanks. See you again. Thanks. And when I would be travelling around, if I seen the sign for a minute, shed, I'd call in, you know. And yeah. Even a small shed that only opened there about two years ago, Mullinahorn, Tipperary. They have they have the use of a, a, a part of the, the GEA field. Uh-huh. So a building in, within the GEA field. Have you done any work... Like that was that was really you know that you could look back and say that was great. Yeah, uh, we we built a playhouse for for a a, um, a little girl with with uh, Down syndrome in a wooden shed, more yeah. or less that we can go in and play, and, and that turned out very very well. Her mother and her her aunts and parents, but we yeah we finished it out with 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 with, with children and. You know, doors and windows and the whole lot. So of course, it's a proper, like, it's like a little garden shed, but yeah. shed, it's a windy playhouse, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I went you know, to um, I went to the men's shed in Care as well. I don't know if, you're, yeah, if you've been up there. They're a great bunch. I, I, do, I, do, I do talk to them on a regular basis because I do be in Care collecting for St. Vincent and I, I often pop in and have a They're beautiful. They have, uh, a, they have a beautiful workshop. Yeah. Yeah. They have, yeah, and they have a, they have a, 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 a what do you call it, a ballet group as well. Yeah, they were singing songs yeah. when I went to see them. Yeah. <laughs> because the other owner is a Belgian and we both like Belgian beer. So this is the 60 second tour of Meskin Brewery. Um, uh, courtesy, courtesy of requests by Peter O'Toole. Cheers, Peter. Uh, so to my left, we have what's called the brew house. That's the three tanks which we use to make the beer. The brew house is the, is the kit rather than the physical building. And as you can see, uh, being men's shed people, you'll be um, you'll be on on page with this. As you can see, it's homemade. So we got milk tanks off our farm clients when we used to be veterinarians, which was our previous career, and we converted those uh, for use in brewing. And we built the platforms that you can see the tanks on. Everything that happens here is extremely manual. So there's no automation in this brewery when we want to 
raise the temperature or move liquid from one vessel to another. It's a case of connecting hoses and pumps and flexible uh, piping and uh, everything is done like that by, by hand. So the, the brewing happens on those vessels. The vessels behind me are for fermenting. Those are two of the eight we have. The other six are outside because there wasn't room for them in the building. Uh, so we, we brew on these ones, we ferment in those, and at the end of the fermentation we cool the beer down and let it rest. So like, like life in a men's shed, nothing in Mexican brewery is rushed. Uh, we give things time here so the beer has to mature before it's ready for bottling. When it is ready for bottling, usually two months after brewing, we bottle it on the plant that's behind me. That's sort of half, the, half the bottling plant, yeah, <laughs> because it's been dismantled for maintenance. But we bottle it there, and then the bottles are put into a warm room where they re-ferment in the, in the bottle. So it, the beer has a second fermentation at the end of its life. And at the end of another few weeks, the beer is carbonated and ready for drinking. Cheers. Hello everyone, Cormac Bakley is my name, and I'm Constantine, the player from West Kerry. Uh, I'm in a house here just below Mount Brandon along the Dingle Peninsula and I'm just going to play a few tunes for you on uh, Concertina. I've toured uh, for years with Peter O'Toole and it's Peter who asked me to uh, put this video together. Um, I'm a big fan of the Men's Shed. Um, I visited one near Carrigan Shannon a few years ago. I believe there's one in Dingle too. Um, but I'll play a tune. Um, a tune I played with Peter. It's called Brian... Um, uh, Brian Baruse, and uh, it's an old tune that's over a thousand and fourteen years old, and it's a march that's played. Um, uh, it's believed that it was played for Brian, uh, or Brian Baru, and uh, in, in, into battle as well, a battle tune. So it's his, his it's his march. I played on this this concertina here. This is an old concertina, dates back to the eighteen nineties. It's a Jeffrey's concertina. Um, so here we go. Um, for those of you who don't know how the concertina works, if you press a button here like an accordion, it lifts up a pad inside it. And on the other side of that pad is a hole. And it allows air to go through that hole when you press a button. And in the next layer are the reeds, are little reeds that vibrate really quickly. Like a juice harp. Um, and that's what makes the sound. So there's 30 buttons on this. Uh, there's one reed when you push and one when you pull. So there's 60 reeds in this in total. Um, it's a beautiful instrument and it's stood the test of time to now. So here we go. <laughs> but one of those buttons broke halfway through so I'm actually going to play a tune on a different instrument here um, uh, I play on the bass this is a very rare instrument only a few of these in the world <laughs> very deep sounding I'll play another march I'll play O'Neill's march for you you'll, you'll, you'll probably have heard this before uh, it's an old march that dates back uh, over 400 years another battle tune um, to psych the warriors up for war um, 
Callow glasses were my ancestors, um, mercenary warriors, and we fought on behalf of the O'Neills and the O'Donnells. And this is one of the tunes that uh, the O'Neill clan played uh, going to war. <laughs> So we're coming to an end of this journey when the shed light is on. The men's sheds of Tipperary and of Ireland and the world. It's been a great journey and I've really enjoyed meeting the members and um, we had some good crack. I learned I learned a lot and I hope you did learn a lot. Um, thanks to Tipperary County Council, Healthy Ireland Initiative and just remember to get out and exercise and eat well look after yourselves, switch off the negative news and watch some comedy and get out into this beautiful springtime. It's gorgeous. So signing off, Peter O'Toole, when the shed light is on.